welcome to the Niagara Falls Comic Con. I'm Rockin' Boxes, Sean Rockin' Boxes, Rockin' Boxes presents, and I am sitting beside yet another Jason from Friday the 13th, Freddy versus Jason. Of course, Freddy isn't here. He beat, you beat him. He's too scared. You beat him. Ran off, I don't know. He's... <laughs> welcome, Ken Kurtzinger. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Thank you for doing this with me. Oh, no I problem. appreciate it. No problem. So, uh, you know, uh, you're here at the con, and uh, you enjoy. You're you're from uh, Canada, and yeah. uh, so you've been to the falls, I guess, uh, many a time. No, actually, wow. this is my first time, and I made a point of going down and checking them out yesterday after the convention, and and they're beautiful. The, the town is gorgeous, and uh, looks reminds me a little like Vegas of the north. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say for sure. I already gave some money to the casino. Oh, look at that, eh? Oh, jeez. Did you do well, or uh, no, no. You, obviously you by giving again. it? Yeah, yeah, by giving it, you haven't gotten it. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, um, you you're you're a stuntman, and uh, this uh, whole Freddie and Jason thing, uh, you know, uh, what? Uh, first off, how did you get the gig? Let's let's. Uh, talk uh, about good that. story. I uh, went into interview for the stunt coordinating job, yeah. and uh, I was talking to the producer, and he wasn't really listening to what I was saying. Kind of looking at me and. And he stops me and he goes, you know, uh, we've been looking for somebody about your build. He goes, uh, would you be interested in auditioning to play Jason? And uh, I said, sure. And so they took me into this room and gave me a really cheap Jason mask. And they read the opening scene and did a close-up of my eyes. And then they had me walk around the room. That was the audition. And uh, then I had a quick meeting with uh, Ronnie Yu, I think a couple days later, the director. And, uh, and they gave me the job. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Now, um, Kane... Uh, you know, he's done, what, the four uh, yep. Fridays. Uh, what's the difference, and how was it for you when it came to, you know, the size and the movements and everything you did, even regarding the film? Like, what what, how, what was the comparison? What's the comparison? Uh, uh, you know, uh, is there? We, we talked, Ronnie and I talked uh, before the movie uh, to see if he wanted to emulate any of the other movement that any of the other Jasons had done, and he was very specific that he didn't want to do that. So he was going for a different, a different look, and I think his concept was pretty good in that he wanted Jason to move very, very slowly until he did something, and that would accentuate, uh, you know, his him killing people. So you'll see Jason walking very slowly, and then and then suddenly chop somebody in half, or suddenly cut their head off, or something, and and it's and it's startling. So uh, I think that's the biggest difference between this Jason and all the other Jasons. Right. Um, you, have you seen all of the movies and which one would be your favorite? You know, I watched them, I watched them all sort of over the years. Uh, when it came time to do Freddy vs. Jason, I didn't sit down and watch them all again or anything like that. So, you know, there's been years in between me seeing seeing them all. But, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously I'm going to say Freddy vs. Jason. <laughs> Freddy vs. Jason, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it was my favorite. Um, I'm going to switch gears a little bit here. Uh, you were in Toronto, and uh, you were on the set of Incredible Hulk. Yeah. 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 yeah what, what What did you What was your role? What, what, what oh did well, you do? we were. Uh, I was part of a big crowd scene of uh, stunt people. There's a big battle between the Hulk and the other monster, and uh, they're tearing up the streets and stuff like that. So we had you know army vehicles going by, and we had explosions and cars flipping over, and, and so I was one of the stunt people, sort of running in between all the vehicles and, and uh, trying not to get hit by anything. <laughs> and they did that right on Young Street, right? Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we were there for about a week on Young Street. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, you're stunt man, and uh, I interviewed Steve Dash. Yeah. Uh, you know Steve yeah. uh, well, and, and uh, what on your sets was the most uh, grueling, or did you have a, a you know did you break any bones? Did you have any, Over the years, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, stunt work is like playing a professional sport. If you do it long enough, you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get injured. And uh, if I had to try and remember. All my, you know, broken everything but my baby toe, and and uh, I'd have to work my way up from there. But uh, no, it takes its toll on you. You know, you're constantly uh, taking punches and crashing cars, and so that's hard on your neck. And and uh, I remember on one movie, I fractured three vertebrae uh, doubling Jeff Goldblum uh, because I had to fall four feet onto concrete, and and uh, you know, countless other small injuries, fractured, you know, broken ankles, and. And stuff like that, but uh, you know, I grew up playing sports, so I was used to 
you know, injuries and recovering. And, and uh, But after a while, you know, it adds up. It adds up. It's a young man's game. Oh, yeah, for sure. Wow, yeah. there you go. So, obviously, Robert isn't with us right now. And uh, I wanted to ask you both, but you can tell me, yeah. what was your favorite scene in that movie? Oh, I, it was the fight scene at the, the end. You know, we, we shot that for over a week, I think. And, uh, you know, getting to work with Robert, doing the fight stuff with Robert, and, and working with the kids, and then, of course, working with the other stunt people. Uh, it was it was a lot of fun too. Uh, that's Robert. <laughs> there he is. Right there. <laughs> All right. So there we go. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, and uh, so it, during the movie itself, uh, you know, did, did, were you hurt on that film at all? Uh, did you have... No, no, I didn't get hurt on uh, Freddy vs. Jason. Uh, I remember at one point that I step out of the house and the roof collapses. That hit me in the head. Oh yeah. <laughs> but, but, that, but that was about it. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So um, guess what? What? Freddy is here. <laughs> Freddy's here. Freddy is here. Oh Freddy my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>
or Toronto. A couple of kids in the Depression sitting around and they're going, I, who, who do you think would win in a fight between Frankenstein and the werewolf? <laughs> you know? And then they made that movie. And I remember for my, my hit series V being invited to be a grand marshal at a Thanksgiving parade in the capital of California, Sacramento. And this is, so this is fall of 84. Uh, and we shot the movie in the, in the summer of 84, late spring and summer of 84, the first nightmare movie. So I am now <clears throat> doing a promotion for V, Nightmare on Elm Street's come out, a biker, Hell's Angel pulls up at the end of the parade, and I'm getting off my float, and I'm in my little dorky, you know, Willie the alien outfit with my little bow tie and everything. And this, this biker comes up to me, and he rips off his shirt. And it's cold out. It's Northern California. It's Thanksgiving weekend. And he had a full Yakuza, Japanese-style torso tattoo of Freddy versus Jason grappling in that grappling wrestling thing. Went all the way around, it was contoured into his muscles, oh, wow. went down to his thighs. The guy literally showed me his butt crack <laughs> because there was like tattooed on there. And now this is 84 and, I, and somebody had already tattooed themselves with Freddy versus Jason. Yeah. So that was my first inkling that this was something in, in the sort of on the, on the cultural drum beats of America, you know. Wow, that's Because crazy. kids love that. It's like, who do you think would win, alien or predator, you know, Batman or Superman, Godzilla or King Kong? You know, they always want to know who'd win in a fight. And we were just, we happened to be one of those. Um, would you guys ever see uh, another one, a uh, second? A prequel? Uh, 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 I think they're screaming for it. I don't know why they haven't done it already. But they, uh, Ken and I have had this discussion yeah. too, you know, drinking late at night. They left money on the table. I yeah. think Ken and I would agree to this. What we didn't know at the time was that we came within this close, Ken and I, of doing Freddy versus Jason versus Ash yeah. with Bruce Campbell. And Sam Raimi wanted to direct it, I think. And, they, and, and he wanted Bruce to win, which I thought was, was funny. I thought that'd be really funny. Keeping the world safe from sequels, Ash. You know? <laughs> and I could just see him, you know, with Bruce is getting on, you know, in, in years too. And I could just see Bruce with his like airbrushed abs, you know, with Ken in a headlock and me in a headlock, you know, <laughs> and wind in his hair. But, but that, then that uh, new line was sold to Time Warner. Oh. Yeah. Right. And, and I mean, I really, I was sure there was gonna be another one. I didn't know it was gonna be Freddy versus Jason versus Ash. Yeah. I thought they were thinking maybe sticking Michael Myers in with us or something like that, right. yeah. All right, well, this is my final question. I, I know you guys are busy and I really appreciate you guys taking the time with me and my crew. Uh, do you guys have anything coming up? Uh, uh, your side and Robert. Go ahead, Robert. Well, I, I've got a great new game out called Injustice 2. I'm the Scarecrow. I throw down with the entire DC universe. And I have a movie I think is going to be very interesting uh, called The Midnight Man. I shot it up in Canada uh, at the end of last year with Lynn Shea. Uh, and she's the star of the Insidious franchise. She plays the psychic. Right. So I think, I, I think that might be interesting. And then at the con today, uh, here we have a guest, uh, uh, Jeremy London. Yes. And Jeremy's twin brother, Jason, and I just did a movie over in Europe. Uh, called Night World, and uh, I play a kind of blind, contemporary von Helsing character, and I'm, call I'm called out of retirement to uh, help seal a portal uh, that becomes unsealed. There are seven portals to purgatory in the world, and it's kind of Twilight Zoney and, 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 and interesting, so yeah, I, I, think those, I think the fans are going to like those. One's kind of Twilight Zone, and, uh, and Midnight Man is sort of that, that horror movie uh, Kind of like the one I did, Urban Legend. It's about the game you shouldn't play. Uh, yeah. 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 What are you uh, up to? Yeah, no, we're uh, developing a movie called uh, Crimson Creek Massacre, uh, which we shot a uh, trailer for. If you can go. Oh, see I it. saw that last night. It's yeah, great. Yeah. yeah. And it's a western sort of slasher movie with uh, Willie Ames is uh, starring oh, in it. Yeah, yeah. And we've got the Soska Sisters and. Uh, oh, Soska Sisters. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, being directed by, actually written, directed, and produced by my uh, good friend Laurel Chartrand, and uh, yeah, so check that out. Um, I think it's good. It looks great. I mean, uh, the, the trailer that we did, I'm just so happy about the way it turned out. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. That's fantastic. All right, hey guys, thank you so much You're for doing welcome. this. Okay. And uh, you guys enjoy the rest of the time here. Uh, and uh, wow, I can't believe I'm sitting in front of. Uh, do you, do you have anything to tell anybody? Just like, can you do that laugh for us? The laugh. Well, look at it. This, it's like it's, it used to be Freddy versus Jason. 
now it's Freddy versus his right foot. So I'm, I'm kind of, you know, or to combat, as they say. <laughs> so you want to give us the laugh? Oh. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>